So in this video, I'm gonna talk about rigging, how I rig my kokanee rigs and just the, the basics, I'm trying to keep this simple. Um, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is I've got my line and I always tie on just a basic duo snap swivel. And the knot I used to tie this on is called the polymer knot. So I'll show you this. There's lots of good videos on how to tie the polymer knot, but it's one of the strongest and arguably, I think, one of the easiest knots once you learn it. Um, so basically what you do is you're gonna put a loop through whatever you're tying. And then you just wrap it over. So it looks like this. And then you're gonna take your lure or your dual snap, run it through that hole and just pull it tight. It's a very st strong knot. Just trim, usually just a little bit of a tag. Trim it so it looks like this when it's done. And then for kokanee, uh, the typical kokanee setup is use a dodger and then some kind of lure behind it. So uh, for this video, or for this setup, I'm going to just pick one of these dodgers. Um, first of all, there's a couple different dodgers that I have laid out here and a couple different lures. Um, so this lure, it's a squid, but it has a bill on it. And what that makes it do, do is kick around in the water. Um, this is a micro shrimp. It's got a spinner on it. And this one is basically just a, a spinner. So what you want to do is you'll pick whatever dodger you want to use. Um, I'm, I'll show this one for the example today. Um, and so you'll hook your dodger onto that snap swivel. And then it's important to always have some kind of swivel between the dodger and um, and your line that way if something gets hung up or twisted and it starts spinning You're not spinning and putting a bunch of line twist in your line a different lure on this so I can show you how I tie So when you get your lures typically They'll come with a leader untied. So how far do you want to tie your leader? Um, it really depends on the size of dodger you're using and what type of action the lure has on it so a lure that doesn't have much action on its own you're gonna to wanna to tie it closer to the dodger so that the dodger creates the action. Um, the dodger's gonna flip back and forth through the water and kick that lure back and forth. If the lure itself makes action on itself, you can go a lot longer. The dodger will still attract the fish, but if you use something that like that, um, like that squid that has the bill on the front, it's gonna create a lot of action by itself. So it's really gonna depend on what lure you're using, the speed you're going. Um, I'll show you in just a minute how to check that. Um, so for this one, a good, a good rule of thumb for something that you want to use a dodger action is about two times the length of the dodger. So this dodger's there, we'll go there, and we'll go there. And that's going to put us about, about, this is how far you want to be behind. So what I do is I take that, and I'm going to make a loop. And I'm going to go through it once. And through it twice pull it tight and I'll just again turn the end and that's how I tie tie my loops And we'll put this on through the snap. So that's rigging your lure. So the other important thing to do is kokanee, um, like I mentioned in my kokanee 101 tutorial, um, they're very sensitive to smell. So something important to do is I uh, highly recommend washing your hands, your lures. Um, fishermen swear by uh, Lemon Joy dish soap. So that's a great one to have on the boat. You can always keep your hands and everything washed up. 
Um, another thing I like to do to cover up any remaining scent is um, I usually use goat maggots to tip my lures with. And there's several scents you can get. Um, I've got links to them on my website, um, but this one's a garlic one. I'll just take it and I'll just squeeze squeeze a fair amount into my goat maggots. Take it, shake it up. And that's an easy way to just scent those goat maggots so they're ready to go. And then I usually put one maggot per hook. Um, you can get fancy putting them on. I usually don't. I usually just go right through the middle. Just make sure they're hooked. And that's the basic rigging for kokanee lures. And then the next thing you can do, I'm gonna put this lure in the water. And what you wanna do, so you can see the speed we're going, you can see how that's kicking, and you can just check and make sure you're getting that exact action that you want. faster if you want to be going slower we we'll just check that action make sure it looks like what you want and if the fish don't like it that day switch it up make it longer make it faster um, there's it can all depend on what the fish want that day so one more tip with storing your lures I use like to use these Lindy rigger boxes they come in this box um, with three spools and you basically just spool your line around there hook them in keeps them nice and organized works I found them to work really well that's my preferred method another important thing that I found is for your scents you don't want this stuff getting all over your boat it does not smell necessarily good um, and it, it's hard to get out if you do so I have found these storage cases they're sealed so if you do happen to have a bottle that leaks um, it's not going to get all over everything. So one last tip that I feel fits into the rigging section is how I store my poles. Um, I found these pole socks that basically slide right on. They'll actually slide down over your dodger if your dodger's small enough. Um, it really just helps protect the poles. Um, and then I store that in my rod locker. But I highly recommend these. Um, you can get them on Amazon. They're not too expensive. Um, and they really do a good job of protecting your poles. So that's something that I use every single trip out. Thanks. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to check out our website, kokanee-addictfishing.com. I have a Kokanee 101 section where I go over the basics of kokanee fishing, including this topic and many others. I show the products I've had success with, along with links on where to get them. Happy fishing and tight lines.